Everyone with Pack Crack Fever, we're back with another episode of Trade Nub very quickly after the lost episode. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. This one's going to be a little bit different than the other ones. Uh, right now is usually where I go back and I show which cards I sent out uh, to uh, trade up to this package. But on this one, uh, we're going to go over now and look at exactly what I sent out, and that is a uh, sealed product. I used the Card Sphere feature where you can send sealed product, and what I did was I sent out a uh, whole load of booster packs. I think I sent out 31. I, I didn't write the number down before I started recording. Uh, but I, what I sent out, sent out was a bunch of Ravnica Allegiance booster packs. I sent them out for $3.21 each. Uh, in two different shipments, the shipping ended up being $8.12 total for the shipping. Uh, so after paying for shipping, I have $94.60 left. And traded up for this one card, which ran me $76.25. Uh, so I do have a little bit remaining. Uh, 76.25 is what I paid for the card. Uh, so let's take a look and see what I traded up to. And of course, blue scissors are back. They never mess an episode of trading up. Now I gotta admit I am nervous about the size of this envelope because last time I had an envelope that was oversized like this. Uh, we all saw what happened in the lost episode. Uh, so let's hope this <laughs> goes a little bit better than that. And I will note also that while I'm opening this that those Ravnica Allegiance packs, I had them left over from the Mythic Edition that I bought. Uh, so I didn't pay retail for those. I paid I guess, a little bit less when you consider the cost of the other uh, cards. You see this one is uh, protected pretty well. Uh, oh, I also want to give a shout out to MTG Underground. MTG Underground is the group of traders on Cardsphere. Uh, before we flip this over, uh, give check them out. They also, uh, not only are they big time traders on Cardsphere, always near the top of the leaderboards. But they also have a podcast called the Command Cast. I'm sorry, the Cabal Cast. The Cabal Cast, check it out if you're into MDG Finance. A great place to get some finance tips and tricks from some of the pros that uh, call cards for their home. So let's open this up and see if we can slow roll a little bit. Very well packaged. Let's to the side here and we'll pull it out to reveal. Oh, a beautiful chromatic lantern masterpiece. Look at that. This is, of course, going towards my Tesa EDH deck, and I'm still learning where this camera likes to be when it focuses. So. I'll try getting in close there. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, so I traded those uh, booster packs that I didn't really want and didn't really... Uh, I was going to crack them on the channel, but remember when I kind of had a hiatus because I my computer died and my hand got injured? Uh, that was during that time. So I didn't really have much to do with them. Uh, so I just traded them on a card. So I got the credit. And now it's this beautiful chromatic lantern that's going to go into my Taste of EDH deck, which I'm getting closer and closer to having completely foiled. Uh, so that was the trade. First time ever sending out sealed product on a trading up episode. Uh, so this is Efren with Pack Crash Fever. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.